尊敬的普京总统 ，President Putin。Ladies and gentlemen, colleagues from different parts of the world, friends, it's a great pleasure for me to once again come to Vladivostok eight years after my previous trip. First of all, I would like to say sincerely thank you uh, to President Putin for the warm welcome. Thank you to my Russian friends for their hospitality. Uh, the Eastern Economic Forum uh, has been launched by President Putin and it has been held three times quite successfully. It has become a venue for discussion of cooperative issues of key importance. This time in this forum, we have an unprecedented number of guests that came from different countries. Uh, I admire uh, the scale of the forum, and uh, I would like to congratulate President Putin and my Russian friends on this event. This is fresh wind uh, from the east uh, that brings life. Uh, to everything. We have seen a lot of beautiful things after we came here. It impresses us a lot. Vladivostok looks uh, differently. Uh, we see a lot of ships in the harbor. Uh, we see a beautiful bridge that flies over the bay and comes to the Ruski island. This is telling us how rapidly the city is developing. The achievements of Vladivostok are the reflection of rapid development of the Russia's Far East in recent years. The uh, theme of this forum is expansion of opportunities. The Far Eastern region uh, opens up broad range of possibilities uh, for new production, for development of cooperation. China has always been and is still uh, a participant of development projects in eastern part of Russia. We have unique geographic benefits. China and Russia are biggest neighbors. Uh, we have solid political base. We are partners in comprehensive strategic cooperation. Uh, Chinese-Russian relations are at the all times high level. We get uh, strong support uh, from the uh, political uh, powers, and this helps us uh, to rebuild uh, the industrial base uh, in the east of Russia. This is a national strategy uh, for Russia. We have good mechanisms that have been created by the Commission for Development uh, of uh, Northeast of China and uh, Far East of Russia. There is a uh, business council associated with this organization. Uh, several leaders of uh, Chinese and uh, Russian regions are involved in this work. There are joint efforts. Uh, China uh, has participated in uh, projects in the Russian Far East, and they have been successful. In 2017, the uh, trade turnover between China and uh, Far Eastern Federal uh, region has been in excess of $7 billion. Uh, China participates in more than 30 uh, projects in uh, priority development areas and in Freeport, Vladivostok. Uh, the overall volume is higher than $4 billion. Uh, China is the biggest partner uh, and investor in Russia's Far East. Uh, 
China has uh, already set up uh, a regional development fund uh, with a volume of 100 billion uh, RMB uh, with the initial capital of 10 billion RMB. Uh, together with uh, Russian partners, uh, we will maintain the operation of this fund so that big uh, projects uh, could become successful. This fund uh, should become an effective vehicle in cooperation between China and Russia. Uh, a oil pipeline uh, between Russia and China is built, a natural gas pipeline is being built, uh, railways and uh, motorways are being built. We are coming uh, close to the time when we will harvest the results of our cooperative projects in the Far East. In these years, uh, we, uh, together with President uh, Putin, have announced uh, the period of uh, Chinese-Russian cooperation. This is opening up uh, new opportunities for cooperation between our countries in the Far East. With the Russian side, we will make our contribution to uh, development of infrastructure, energy, agriculture, tourism. Uh, we uh, will uh, mobilize uh, small and medium-sized businesses, make uh, sure uh, there is a greater high-tech contribution to the economy, make sure that the share of added value uh, products production is growing. We should uh, learn from each other and uh, make contribution to growth in China and in Russian Far East. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, in the new conditions, uh, we should go together hand in hand and uh, increase our cooperation in the interests of peace, stability, development in the region. I would like uh, to share a few thoughts with you. Uh, first, we should uh, strengthen uh, trust uh, for the benefit of uh, peace and stability in the region. Uh, currently, uh, we uh, see uh, very uh, complex changes uh, in the uh, political domain. Uh, there is a lot of protectionism. Uh, there is a lot of uh, strength built uh, policy uh, that we see around. In uh, Asia, uh, we count for 23% of global population and 19% uh, of global GDP. Uh, stable, consolidated uh, Southeast Asia would uh, be good for the entire world and it would help to uh, support multinational efforts uh, to maintain fair world order, make it more rational. Uh, China uh, is a part of uh, Northeast Asia, and we uh, stick to peaceful development course. We want to establish good, friendly relations with our neighbors. China acts in the spirit of respect and uh, plays a constructive role in cooperative projects. We are involved in dialogue with different countries in the region. We take into account their wishes and concerns. We are prepared to work together with all parties. We want to increase trust in a search of effective uh, way uh, to uh, solid uh, peace and stability uh, in Northeast Asia. We will make our contribution to this process. Secondly, uh, we should strengthen uh, cooperation uh, for mutual benefit uh, in Northeast Asia. This region uh, has rich energy resources. Uh, it is a leading region uh, in terms of high-tech research and development. 
uh, this area uh, has a lot of financial resources and a lot of talents. Every country in Northeast Asia has unique benefits and uh, has unique features in economic uh, development. Different countries uh, complement each other. When the uh, situation in the region is stabilizing and things are getting better, countries of the region can use these benefits uh, to increase their cooperation in different domains. We should be more active uh, bringing together our development strategies, aligning them. Uh, President Putin and I uh, have agreed that uh, China and Russia are aligning uh, their policies successfully, one belt, one road. Uh, is uh, connected uh, to Eurasian Economic Union. We see uh, tangible outcomes. Uh, Chinese side is prepared uh, to align its uh, strategy uh, to all other countries uh, to uh, have better exchange uh, of information to coordinate our political efforts. Uh, we want to join efforts and identify the main direction of development. We need uh, to uh, make connectivity a priority. We need transnational infrastructure, uh, which should uh, simplify uh, and enhance trade, improve markets' liquidity. Uh, it should help capital flow and technology flow. It should optimize uh, use of resources. Together, we should build open regional economy and uh, create uh, an economic ring in Northeast Asia. We uh, should work towards uh, greater cooperation uh, in uh, different formats, regional and sub-regional. Uh, we have achieved good results in trilateral projects between uh, China, uh, Japan and South Korea, also uh, China, Russia and Mongolia. Uh, China is open uh, for uh, international cooperation. Everything that contributes to stability, development uh, and mutual benefit in the region. We are willing uh, to act with other countries to study opportunities associated with uh, cooperation in different uh, formats including sub-regional uh, formats so that we can launch more projects that would benefit the people of the region. I count uh, on uh, Asian uh, banks' role in this, the fund of the Silk Road. I hope that they will offer support to such projects. Thirdly, we should learn uh, from each other, uh, learn uh, from other people's experience uh, to strengthen friendship uh, between people. North uh, Asian uh, countries uh, have a lot of things in common. For a long time, uh, we have been developing uh, the uh, friendship links. Uh, we have had a lot of very touching stories. For example, uh, All Russia uh, Children's Center Ocean in Vladivostok has uh, welcomed over 500 uh, children uh, from Benchuan province uh, in China. Our children have spent time there. They have been taken very good care of in a very warm atmosphere. Uh, in their hearts, now they have a very special attitude to Russia. Amongst those children, there was one boy named Sitzen Fan. Uh, he made a wish. He wanted to come back to Russia to study. Uh, he put uh, a message uh, in a bottle and uh, threw it into the water. And, uh, an employee of the Ocean Center has found uh, this bottle and read the message. So the wish came true. Uh, the boy is now studying in the uh, Far Eastern Federal University, which is a good example of exchange programs between different peoples in the region.
In the future, I suggest uh, that we should use the existing uh, base of contacts and uh, do more uh, to expand our cooperation in traditional areas, education, culture, uh, youth exchanges. We should continue to learn from each other in order uh, to preserve our uh, historical and cultural heritage. We should uh, protect intellectual property uh, to create a good venue for cooperation between peoples of different countries, nations, and ages. Fourth, we should uh, work for long-term uh, future in order to uh, make our development efforts comprehensive and long-term. Uh, there are several factors uh, that play a role in Northeast Asia. Unequal development, high rate of growth, uh, multiple joint projects. Countries of the region uh, should face the reality and work in a constructive fashion. Uh, developing long-term projects, coordinating and aligning their efforts. This way we would be able to uh, develop our economies in a balanced way, make better use of resources uh, that nature has to offer. Together with the countries of the region, uh, we are willing uh, to look at new models of coordinated development in Northeast Asia. We want to enhance uh, and uh, increase the level of cooperation, speed it up, uh, so that we can better manage the environment and make our economies lean and make our industries more effective and efficient. We want uh, to face uh, the environmental issues that we have in the region. Uh, President Putin, ladies and gentlemen, friends, uh, we uh, would like to use historic opportunities uh, together with other uh, countries of the region. We want uh, to make our cooperation in the Far East more active. Uh, we want to develop cooperation in all of Northeast Asia. We want it uh, to be multifaceted development. We want to uh, do many more things together so that all peoples in the region uh, would get better prospects uh, and would be able to enjoy the outcomes of our cooperative uh, projects. We would like to uh, open up the potential